When cat rescuer Lindsay Bembley from Delray Beach, Florida stumbled across this kitten stuck in a storm drain, she went to work. And that's when we called the fire department. Uh, they went down immediately and then he ran off. And they told me that they were sure that he'd be able to get out to the street. And then Wednesday I was back at the gym and I heard him um, crying again. And that's when I went home and got my traps right away. After days of trying to rescue the kitten, Lindsay and her colleagues Andrea Spritik and Liz Jones made a plan. Andrea is in the sewer right here. Liz Jones is in... Andrea, back up for a sec. Liz Jones just crawled into that hole from the other side, a full block down. I've actually been in a few storm drains before, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not my first time, um, but it was definitely the longest storm drain. This one was really narrow, like shoulder to shoulder when I was like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, he was a great motivator. Look how cute he is. And it wasn't a small drain either. It was like a whole city block. You know, it was great to great, but it was basically an entire city block that she went through. As expected, the drain was full of unsavory critters and waste. I would say like 75% of it was pretty decent. Like in terms of sewer drains, it was actually pretty great. <laughs> But the last like 25%, which is where this dude was, the sediment kept getting higher and higher and there was a lot more rocks and debris that had accumulated down there. So it made it really tough to squeeze through. And then that was also coupled with spiders and cockroaches and little baby toads. Um, so I had to crawl through that. And then of course he had a little corner in there that was like his litter box area. So that was really fun. There's nothing. I brought her hazmat suit. I literally was like, I have gloves. I have a hazmat suit. You want it? She's like, nah, it'll just get caught up. It'll rip. I'm fine. Literally in a tank top and yoga pants. That's how she went in. I was like, you're a rock star on a whole different level, kid. Like a whole different level of rock star. <laughs> so it's getting more narrow as I continue to go in. You can see my shoulders. Are touching. Um, I'm army crawling, but my forearms are killing me because there's a lot of sediment, and as I go deeper in, the sediment builds up. It's getting painful. I don't even want to see my elbows. But I can see them, and I can see the end, so. Oh, they got in there. Their efforts paid off. Operation Liberation started a GoFundMe for the kitten named Donatello to help with cost, and he is on the mend. And we immediately did blood work because we were concerned. He's been in the sewer for a week, he's drinking sewer water. So we were definitely concerned that there was going to be a pretty bad infection, uh, which there was an infection, but it wasn't as bad as we'd expected. Somebody might have just gone from spicy to nicey very quickly. See, I'm not mean, I just was scared. I was in a stinky storm drain. What do you think? Does this beat the storm drain? Although the rescue seems shocking, for these women, it's all in a day's work. It's challenging, you know, but at the end of the day, it's very fulfilling work. So we don't do it for pats on the back. Obviously, we do it for these little guys. So it's all worth it. Oh my goodness. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.